The disease causes bones all over my body to disappear. I'm in pain every day and every minute of every day, so I kind of have to do something to get me distracted because if I focus on it, it'll hurt a lot more. I have idiopathic multicentric osteolysis. This means that I'm tired a lot because it's all my bones are like putting pressure on something. Good boy. Or that the skin and the muscle are basically working to keep all my extremities together. So the more I use them, the more I'll be in pain and tired. Basically, her body is absorbing the calcium from her bones and essentially making them disappear. So Natalia, she's got no carpal bones, no tarsal bones, and it affects the smaller bones first. There's just severe deterioration in her knees. Um, her shoulders and her elbows are basically held together by just the soft tissue around there, the nerves. She's had a motorized wheelchair since she's been in first grade. About 2013, it was getting very difficult for me to carry Natalia. So we decided to add on to the house and put the wheelchair lift in to at least give her the access to her bedroom with her chair and give her some independence. No. We cut her food for her so that she can, again, be independent and feed herself to the extent that she can. Even if I'm having a tough day, I feel like I want to push through it because I don't want the pain to impact like my mom's like quality of my life. I just want my life to be as normal as possible. It does get a little frustrating, but I think I've just been able to figure out a different way to be independent. Something that distracts me is art. I like digital art, so I love drawing on my iPad, because it's sometimes easier than drawing on paper, which gets me a little tired. She's very uh, stubborn, but in a good way. She sticks her own, to her own path. She doesn't let you deter her from what she wants to do. and. Sometimes she is right. She's creative, she does a lot of drawing work, and she's strong with what she goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's hard knowing what she deals with and like all the pain. Uh, my mom works from home three days a week, so she usually helps me in the morning, and then my dad usually helps me get my breakfast and then takes me to school. Thank you very much. I greet her at the door. Open the door for her. Oh, Natalia. Of course, she prefers to be independent, and I'll let her be independent unless she tells me she needs some assistance. Do I do a new file? Mm -hmm. uh, Natalia is a great student. Um, she does uh, very, very high level work, works very, very hard, and it's one of our best students. Dr. Smith helps me with all the problems that my bones are having. Like at the moment I'm having shoulder pain. They haven't really figured out a solution for most of my pain. But there's still no answer to relieve the pain. It's just more of managing her pain at this point. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? How are you, Natalia? <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good? Good. And how has your uh, pain and stuff been? 
Ah, like, uh, like I think the normal, like I've been telling you, like the shoulder and the back pain. Right. This is a very rare condition. Uh, we've only seen a few cases, and and each child is is specific. Well, I've been following Natalia since she was three years old, and it's actually poorly understood. And how has your neck been? Like the same. It still feels like it's ready to drop because it feels like a it's like a bowling ball. My head like the weight. Weak? Yeah, yeah. Is it all all day or? Yeah, it's all day. All day, so sometimes I'm fine. It gets tiring to sit up. So. We've tried different kinds of medications uh, to treat it and um, other complicated aspects of this disease. For us, we expect that uh, she might have some progression of her, of her disease, but she should always uh, be fairly functional in her chair. We are working with different kinds of adaptive uh, things so that she can become a productive uh, adult. sort of gives me a place to put all my stuff, life struggles into, and I don't have to focus on anything else, and I can sort of get out of it while I'm rolling. Okay, I'm gonna put the V on the top. Even though like that may, people may be struggling with this condition, I feel like you should never let it affect you because there's more to you than this disease. Go. 